So Leon pots the flop for $42,000. Gus goes all in. It's going to be a $205,000 pot. Leon calls. What's he have? He's got the King Queen 5 8. Ladies and gentlemen, one day after we had Gus Hansen on the podcast, and he said this The online for me is going to be more in the uh, 5 10 dollar pot limit games maybe to try out some some new ideas or get some practice in before I go to uh, a long trip to Vegas etc. Gus decided to maybe listen to something I said at the end of the podcast which was that Party Poker has some pretty good high stakes pot limit Omaha games that run every so often on the site and he got in the mix last night. So if you guys tuned in last night to my live stream I did it was uh, 100 200 pot limit Omaha on Party Poker Gus Hansen loosely on and uh, Sam Trickett were in the mix with a couple other players as well. We streamed the last two hours. And uh, we're going to go over two big hands that decided Gus Session for the positive or for the negative. And we're going to try to figure out if these players were GTO or were they a little bit out of line. All right, so here's one of the first uh, big pots that they played towards the end of the session here. So Big Fish, Russian Warrior, raises the button. They're about $40,000 deep. Kings of Leon and Gus Hansen are... So Leon three bets the uh, small blind. Gus cold four bets. So 200 big blinds deep. Leon been playing crazy, three betting a ton. So I think Gus is going to have a little bit wider range than normal here, four betting the big blind. And then it gets back to Leon. Leon decides to min five bet it. Now you guys know we have a Leon GTO solver and we have a, a, a regular pot loan solver. Uh, I don't know. Don't know if I like the, the min. I just like if he's Leon's going to be five betting. I like it making it a big pot size bet here. I don't know what um I don't know what the min the min five bet here really does. But he does min five bet. Gus tanks for a very long time trying to think should he call? Should he re-raise? He decides to to six bet it to 34,000 going all in. And the hands get shown down here. Gus, Leon makes the quads. So Leon runs it out, makes the quads. And now Gus has the ace king jack four with the with the ace king of diamonds, jack four of spades, a double suited hand, but you know, could be could be a little stronger of a hand here. I think if I'm gonna be um, if I'm gonna be committing thirty four thousand or forty some thousand dollars pre flop, obviously Leon has Ace King nine ten here with the Ace ten of spades. Um, like his three bet pre flop, don't really like the min five bet. Um, anytime I can avoid putting in two hundred big blinds, the other one of these hands, I'm gonna look to do it. But um, but yeah, these are probably two of the these are probably near the top of these guys' range. And I think in a small blind, big blind battle, how could you not get 200 big blinds in here? Luckily, Leon makes the quads and takes it down. And that sets up our I know this brings up our hand of the stream, hand of the day, hand of the hand of the month, hand of the year. And uh, I like this hand a lot, guys. So hundred thousand dollars deep, five hundred big blinds total. Leon makes a seven hundred dollar race preflop over to Gus. He min three bets. So Gus has been doing this a lot. He's been min three betting in position. He's been min raising. I don't quite quite know what's going on, but he's uh, yeah he's been he's been doing this a lot this session. So he makes it twelve hundred dollars. Sam trick it pretty quick on the button. So he's 125000 thousand dollars deep. So you can see this is a very deep game. He makes a four bet on the button to forty six hundred. Leon calls rather quickly. Doesn't even consider potentially five betting here pre flop. Gets back to Gus. Gus decides to make a five bet pre flop to eighteen thousand seven hundred dollars. Obviously, this is a this is going to be a, a big pot city here. This is a signal of big pot. I don't. Sam doesn't folding the button here. I can't imagine what he might have folded. I mean, in position against loosely on it and Gus, who are probably going to be stacking off lighter than normal for five hundred big lines if the right flop does come down i think i'm gonna call but he does decide to go ahead and fold leon you know leon he puts money in he's not loose leon because he likes folding so he goes ahead he calls so forty two thousand dollar pot here 81.8k behind board comes down king jack six and now leon thinks about it for a little bit and he decides to to make a pot size bet here and um and commit his chips so now you think about all right what do we think loose leon might have here with this with this line pre-flop so I think he could have some pocket kings. He could have some king jack, some king queen 10 nine type hands. I would hope he has a hand like that. Maybe a pair with a combo draw, straight draw, flush draw, plenty of those hands. Now it comes back to Gus. And Gus doesn't always have to have aces here when he does five bet preflop. I think he could have some, some good, good kings, some uh, good rundown double suited hands. There's some merit to him maybe just having a completely random kind of lower rundown hand too, like a six, seven, eight, nine or a seven, eight, nine, ten type of hand as well. I don't uh, the double suited type of hand. I, I think he might five bet that hand pre flop. I, 
yeah, I, something tells me he would. Maybe whether he always would or not, not sure. But I do think he is going to have some kind of hands like that. So we think about what hand should Gus be continuing with here. If he has aces with a gut shot and a backdoor diamond draw. Yeah, I mean, I'm pretty sure this is just going to be come down to trying to figure out what exactly we think Leon's range is and then plug in, plug it in. But, um, but I guess just thinking about what, what kind of other hands Gus could have that he would fold. What would he fold here? Probably fold bear aces. Probably. I don't, I don't know. He might, if he has like ace, ace, ten something, does he fold that here with maybe one spade? Maybe. I don't know. So I do think that this bet is going to get Gus to fold hands that are, that are going to be a head uh, of Leon. But, um, but yeah, I'm just pretending like this is a, some actual, actual analysis here, guys, because Link, Gus that tanks down here. I don't know what he's doing with when you see the hand he has, he takes down, he goes all in pot's going to be $200,000. Lee, if assuming Leon can call here, it's tanking now. Come on, Leon. What is he doing? So he goes ahead and calls hands are shown down. Leon has King, Queen, five, eight. He's got top, top pair with the backdoor diamond draw two. Backdoor straight draws as well. Gus has ace ace 10 fork. Actually, almost, we kind of almost nailed his hand with the ace ace 10 something, but he does have the nut flush draw and he's at the royal flush draw. He's never folding. He gets it in and uh, in really, really goddamn good shape for getting in 100 big blinds here. Uh, yeah, he's really getting in really, really good shape here. And uh, Leon, uh, Leon's play pre flop. Uh, even by the Leon solver, I, I don't mind it if you're going to be stacking off on the king jack six here. Yeah. Probably would get a full the sand preflop then. But as played, he commits his chips. Turn comes to four spades, and that's what it feels like to be drawn down for the $200 pot. And just for good measure, the queen of spades comes on the river. Gus Hansen takes advantage of the full podcast run good and takes down the 200 and I don't think it's 270. I think it's 205000 dollars Leon can't stand it anymore. He quits the game, and then the game continued on for a little bit longer. Gus ended up booking about, I think it was like a $200,000 win. And, uh, and yeah, so I guess maybe the small assist to us for potentially lining that game up. But if he did lose, then either way, I probably feel bad. I don't know. Who knows what, what kind of, what kind of cycle this might start with Gus. He's got that big win. Maybe he's going to hop back in some of the other games and, um, maybe it'll battle, man. I don't know. All I know is I'm rooting for Gus, man. If you didn't see that podcast with him, guys, check it out. Let me know what you thought about the plays G T O or not. I don't know. I mean, <laughs> yes, I don't know. So, uh, but yeah, I thought Gus played well. I'm enjoying watching him and hopefully everybody out there did enjoy too. Much love everybody. Peace out.